Hello, everyone. I'm Zhen Yu Huang. This is an abstract of our paper synthesizing quantum circuit of AES with lower T depth and less qubits. This work is joined with Siwei Sun. Our work is motivated from quantum attacks to symmetric ciphers. To apply a quantum attack, the attacker needs an attack circuit based on quantum gates, and the quantum circuit for the encryption process is a part of the attack circuit. And our work is focused on reducing the cost of this encryption circuit, especially the cost of AES circuit. Our first contribution is a new general structure for constructing the whole encryption circuit. In previous works, all structures use out-of-place circuits for run transformations as sub-circuits. Here, out-of-place means the output we need is stored in some different qubits than the input. Due to the use of this out-of-place circuit, these structures have some redundant outputs, and the width, which is the number of qubits, will increase when the number of rounds increases. Here, we present a method to construct an in-place round circuit from two out-of-place sub-circuits. By this structure, the width of the circuit will not increase after each round. Here is a comparison of our new structure with other ones. Our second contribution is some techniques for implementing linear and nonlinear transformations. For linear ones, it is well known that an invertible linear transformation can be implemented by an in-place C0 circuit. And we can achieve such C0 circuit by PLU decomposition or some heuristic algorithms. But the circuits advanced from these methods are not optimal. Here we propose a new set-based method for finding a C0 circuit with a minimal number of gates. The idea of our method is encoding the problem of finding a circuit with K gates into a set problem. Our experiments show that, by our method, problems with size less than 9 bits can be solved in a reasonable time. Our next problem is implementing nonlinear transformations in place. Given an out-of-place circuit of function f, we call it a C0 circuit if it works when output wires are initialized to zero, while we call it a C star circuit if it works when the output wires are initialized to non-zero. Then we can classify the nonlinear transformations into two kinds. The first one is a vessel-like transformation, which can be implemented in place by a C star circuit. The second one is the substitution-like transformation, which can be implemented in place by two C0 circuits with the structure we introduced before. Furthermore, we propose some criteria for efficiently designing C star circuits. And under this criteria, a C star circuit can be constructed from a special C0 circuit by adding a C0 sub circuit. By this method, we construct a more compact C star circuit of AES from the one proposed than the one proposed in Asia Career 2020. Our next problem is constructing low depth circuits for nonlinear transformations. Firstly, from an n depth k classical circuit, one cannot always obtain a t depth k quantum circuit by simple replacement. The AES S box quantum circuit proposed in Eurocrypt 2020 is an example. Here, we present a method for constructing a TDFs K quantum circuit from such classical circuit. As applications, we construct a TDFs 4 and a TDF 3 quantum circuits for AES S box. Since AES S box has algebraic degree 7, T depth 3 is optimal if we follow the way that uh, from classical to quantum. Based on all these techniques introduced before, we construct some low width circuits for AES. It's easy to see that our circuits are more compact than the one proposed in Asia Cray 2020. Furthermore, we construct some low depth circuits for AES. Comparing to the one proposed in Eurocrypt, our circuit has lower t depths and lower full depths. At last, we abandon the trade-off curve shown in this figure. That's all. Thank you for your attention.